Hey Collective, hi, how are you? Um, for those of you who do not know me, hi, my name is Winter and um, I have spiritual gifts and abilities like I'm claircognizant, clairaudient, clairvoyant, and clairsentient, and I'm also an intuitive empath um, and with in mediumship abilities as well, but I use my gifts and abilities as well as my knowledge of the cards to channel messages from spirit for you. Um, and this channel, I do collective readings as well as pick a card readings. And the way that the collective readings work is whether or not you're subscribed or, you know, you just happen to click on the video or whatever, um, there are no coincidences. So whether or not you just vibe with my energy or you found me for the first time, I will be tapping into the collective energy. Um, and the cards that come out will be the cards that best um, connect with the energy of those that are drawn to this reading. Um, but as with all collective readings, use what resonates and leave what doesn't. And so what happens during a collective reading is that your spirit guides, your higher selves, your ancestors of your highest good, um, <clears throat> your angels, they will all come together to form one collective voice to deliver you your individual message. So again, take what resonates for you and leave what doesn't. Also, if you would like um, a chance to win a free 30 minute video, private video upload reading, um, it's something that I only do for my subscribers. Um, so just make sure that you're subscribed, uh, you like the video and comment, and I will randomly choose a video on or the, around the first of each month and choose one of the subscribers out of the comments from the previous month. So like in April, I will choose a video that I uploaded from the month of March and then choose one of the subscribers out of that, the comments of the video that is randomly chosen. Okay, let's go ahead and get into this. Uh, you can go ahead and envision a healing light surrounding you full of unconditional love, and then just breathe that light in, and then just ask <clears throat> your higher self. You can ask your spirit guides, you can ask your angels, your ancestors that are of your highest good, or you can just ask the universe or God to connect with you through this collective reading. You can just say, um, you know, spirit guides, please connect with me, delivering messages through this reading that winter is channeling. Or you can also simply follow along with me if you wish as I speak out loud. Thank you, Divine Source Energy, Divine Holy Spirit. Thank you, Spirit Guides, Angels, Archangels, Guardian Angels, Ascendant Masters of Light and Love, Ancestors of the Highest Good, Angelic and Cosmic Benevolent Higher Light Beings. For the good of all and to the harm of none, I call upon you now and I invite you here into this sacred space to help me grasp messages and answers that need to be delivered to any and all souls that find their way here to this reading. May everyone involved in this reading feel safe, loved, and connected to the all there is. May the messages received here today be of value and bring clarity, insight, guidance, validation, confirmation, information, answers, wisdom, and or knowledge that comes from love. I thank you for the accuracy of the cards and the accuracy on my part as well to see, hear, feel, and know the messages that you have today for the precious souls that find their way here. I thank you that this reading is only for the greatest and highest good of all and to the harm of none with peace, love, light, and gratitude. So it is. Namaste. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Okay. 
So we're just gonna get like some general information for you guys, what's going on. Ooh, okay, so someone, <laughs> someone you're dealing with maybe, um, you know, trying to get a little, um, a little tail, trying, maybe trying to score. Um, Uh, so you could be dealing with like some very like uh, sexual energy. So you may um, come up against like some car issues or like you're you may be like changing your oil or like changing tires or getting new tires or maybe there's like, you know, like, um, I don't know, like you may be buying something for your car, like, I don't know, like floor mats or um you know, like you're servicing your car, there may be like buying a new car for someone or like, you know, maybe buying a new used car for someone or, um, you know, there's um, like something here with, with the vehicle. All right, show me clearly, Sphere, what? Okay. First card out is balance is key to a happier lifestyle. That was interesting too because I was actually thinking about doing this on my nails when I did my nails today. The yin and yang symbol in the black and white. So, um, and then we've got uh, chocolate for love. You may be um, like ha having a sweet tooth um lately or like maybe you've been craving chocolate or you just kind of been craving more sweet things for some of you um or and i'm going to clarify these cards too but with that chocolate for love somebody may be also like it it, it may be like that time of the month for for some of the ladies that find their way here um maybe you you're just getting off of it um, and then we've got y'all both acting shit out. So you and a person both may be showing your butt or there's like some drama going on. And then look, we've got the drama mask here. Take care of it now instead of later. There may be something too that like you need to take care of now because like maybe you kind of like pushing it off or like you're like i'll take care of it tomorrow you know and so there's something here that you keep like putting off and spirits like you just go ahead and handle that now um too many strikes let's see what messages do you have He's into magic. Oh, so some of you could be dealing with a man or masculine energy here that is um, into magic. That is um, this person here. Um, we'll, we'll clarify that, but you could be dealing with someone who's like also like manifesting you. I might f around and get hooked someone may want to like like doing like sex magic trying to like turn you on um i've been really sad you could um so you could be dealing with someone who's um or maybe you have been like in your feels or someone's been you know really upset um sad uh depressed since you've been gone telepathy between us so you dealing with like um for many of you you're dealing with a masculine that is spiritual um or you could be the masculine that is spiritual and you and um a a, a person in your life have this um uh telepathic communication and then we have crush in my head again so um oh okay we're not gonna go there on on youtube but you guys see what it is okay but we we that's all we need to do we don't you know we don't need to like 
talk about it. Y'all know what it is. But anyways, we've got um, Crush in my head again. Um, so like if you've been finding like you have been like um, thinking about a person just like out of the blue they like pop up in your head or like maybe you'll see their name somewhere or like maybe even like you can you, you think about having a conversation with this person and maybe you think you're crazy or it's in your head and it's not like you and a person have this uh, this very real telepathic bond between the two of you you are able to to like know um if the other one is um like not doing okay like if the other one is feeling anxious or sad or depressed like you you, you kind of can feel that when something is off with your person and you may even and may even be like you know what what is wrong with you like something's different in your energy like i feel like something's wrong and so they may say, no, nothing's wrong, but like you can feel it, like you just know. And that's because you and this person, like you you, you share like this telepathic um, connection with this person. And, and it may not, for some of you, it may not be romantically. It may just be like you are telepathic and you can, you just know what people are thinking. You just know that there's something like, not right um with them and um and maybe you will um start thinking about them and then all of a sudden they'll call or they'll text or you know something along those lines and it is because like you do have like your that mental bond with this person where you you just know what they're thinking or what they're about to say you may even finish each other's sentences but something here may be out of balance. You may be feeling overwhelmed, you know, with a lot of responsibility on you. Maybe it's mental or emotional responsibility just really weighing on you. I can't breathe for the first time. Still moving on. I don't even know where I heard that song at. I feel like I I feel like I heard it, but I haven't been listening to any music. What's this balance is key to a happier lifestyle for the collective spirit? What is this balance is key to a happier lifestyle? See, um the two of swords like the so twos um represent like balance and so um you know it, it's it, it represents duality twos the num in numerology twos represent duality balance partnership so um let me get another card here with this two of swords can you clarify the two of swords here, spirit? You may feel as though like you're going in like different directions. You may feel like you're going in different directions like, um, Like, it's like this energy of, uh, up, like, these ups and downs, these going in different Well, sorry about that, you guys. But anyway, so, um, so anyways, <clears throat> with the Two of Swords, the Twos represent, like, duality, partnerships, right? And so, uh, also represents balance. And then the Wheel of, of Fortune represents like a, a, a risk and it represents change and so I, I feel like there's this time of like you know something here may be out of balance but you see here too like the two of swords typically is also in the rider weight version of the tarot this person is trying to balance on one foot and um, on this particular wheel of fortune she's balancing on one foot but so it's almost like something's got to give. You can't stay where you're at. You know, 
in in some situation hold on you guys i need to cut this heater off because i am getting hot i get so hot when i'm channeling anyways and then having that heater on full blast anyways so it's like it's almost like something's got to give you know it's like you're kind of maybe feeling like you're stuck between a rock and a hard place or there's like this energy of like uh reevaluating your um like reevaluating where you're at right now there's a choice or a decision and whatever choice or decision that you make it is going to change the course that your life is headed like the the it's going to change the course, change your future, whatever, whatever it is that the choices and the decisions that you're making right now. And so, um, because eventually something here has got to change. Something here is about to change. And so, um, does that make sense? deciding, uh, uh, you know, these decisions that you make from here on out are going to decide where, where you, you're, like every choice or decision that you make from here on out is going to decide where you go from, from here. You know, I, I, hopefully that makes sense. I don't know, maybe you're feeling caught in the middle of something. Stuck in the middle with you. You know, maybe you're feeling caught in the middle of of people in your life and you're trying to find balance or you feel like you're caught in the middle of some sort of dispute or family matter, financial matter. And there's this sense of um, maybe being in denial about... Um, Maybe being in denial about someone or like maybe you don't have all the facts or someone here, someone else doesn't have all the facts about you. And so, but it's like you may want to like really try to stay out of some drama or like trying to not get dragged in to, to something here with this balance and then the two of swords it's like you need to stay neutral because you see here how she's like standing here on one foot she's not going this way or that way she's like really staying neutral right there and she's trying to stay uh um it's like she's trying to stay above the storm above the drama because she doesn't want to get sucked in so you may be going through something like that now, or, you know, maybe you're dealing with that regarding a friend, you know, and you could just tr be trying to like stay neutral or like staying out of this friend, you know, or making a decision regarding a friend or something here. And you're just trying to like keep the peace or like keep it the way it is. Like you don't want to like rock the boat or something, or like you don't want to get pulled into some sort of drama. And it's like whatever choice or decision you make, it's like something here could go either way with that wheel of fortune. And it's like maybe spirit with that wheel of fortune is trying to say like whatever choice or decision you make neither one is like any better than the other you know you, you you just have to to choose something so that you can move on with your life so that you can move on to something here or this could be like waiting for this what is this chocolate for love spirit what is this chocolate for love for the collective? What is this chocolate? Hecate's over here laying under my feet so I can't get up over here very good. Chocolate for love. 
really feel like Spirit is giving us this right here just because I feel like you've got a little bit of a sweet tooth right now for whoever that's for. So I'm going to put this back because I really feel like this chocolate for love doesn't have, it's, uh, and also too, I really feel like um, for some of you, Spirit's trying to say that someone is, is sweet on you. There's, um, there's a little bit of like um, butterflies someone is feeling because I've got the two of cups right here on the bottom of the deck. So I do feel like someone is, is kind of crushing on you and, and it's like you Whoever you are, you don't see that there is this person here that just, I don't know, there's this bit of like um, childlike n n naivety that I'm, that I'm picking up on. Okay, what is y'all both acting shit out, spirit? What is y'all both acting shit out? Okay, so look. It's, uh, you're dealing with a person where you and them are both kind of like showing your ass. Like, you know, you may get angry and cuss this person out or say something rude or hateful. And it's like, they say it too, right? And it's like, you're not perfect. They're not perfect. You both kind of act in a little dramatic sometimes. And this could be with a romantic situation or a friend or a family member. But regardless, it's like, you both are just being kind of cold towards one another or or just bitter or saying rude things. What is this y'all both acting shit out spirit? Too many, but we're gonna look at it. So look, somebody this is like some this is like someone acting very immature, acting like a child. The um this could even be um because it was too many cards but I did see the Six of Cups. This is either like um, someone from your past, could be an ex, or this is just um, revolving around someone's maturity level. Can I get single jumping cards only, please, Spirit, for y'all both acting shit out, Spirit. What does this, can you tell me more? See? Drama, pettiness, egos getting in the way. You may not want to realize it. You know, this is like um, apathy. Maybe you're over it. Maybe you're just like, F it, I'm over it. I ain't dealing with this no more. But, but I'm seeing like two people here that are both like getting triggered, getting upset, and having these petty little arguments with one another. And you know who you are, whoever this message is for. It's like you may lash out at this person and, or they lash out at you and then you lash back out at them. Um, what is this? He's into magic. Look, the high priestess. What is this? He's into magic. There is someone that feels like you can see through their soul or you feel like a person can like look straight into your soul. Um, fun, there's a, um, it's like there's a divine masculine that's looking at a divine feminine that feels like this divine feminine is very mysterious, very, and, and sees her as magical. And this masculine is into magic. So like, he, that means he's like into her. Finding this feminine energy, very mysterious, very um, alluring. And, um, and I feel like that's the way this person feels about you that's crushing on you. Or this, is, I'm, I'm actually speaking to the masculine here in this case. It just depends on who you are because this is collective. But you'll know if it's for you and how it resonates for you. Tell me more about he's into magic spirit. He's into magic. 
six of swords with he's into magic. Are birds talking to you? You're okay, so whoever I'm I'm talking to right now I feel like there's um um at this point the message um still the um ow ow hecate ow hold on just a second move honey I'm not going to give that message. Uh, I just got very clear that I wasn't supposed to say that part. So hold on, let me, um, can you clarify the, I just saw something I wasn't supposed to see or say. So can you clarify the six of swords? The nine of swords. Oh no, it's the Nine of Wands. Sorry, not the Nine of Swords. I, I mean, I knew it was the Nine of Wands, but I don't know why I said the Nine of Swords. So what does this have to do with the collective spirit? And then what does the Six of Swords and Nine of Swords have to do with the collective He, night, the, the, he's into magic, the knight of wands. All right, so this is the, the magic, the um, magical masculine. That is... that is wounded the do you guys hear the dog start barking out there that is wounded Okay, I feel like this ma this masculine here is trying to run away from something. Is he trying to run away from his own magic or is he trying to run away from yours? Is he trying to run away? Is there a masculine here that's trying to run away? Are you trying to run away from your own magic? Are you trying to run away from someone else's magic? Or divine feminine, are you dealing with a divine masculine that is trying to escape your wrath or your, because with this, he's into magic, but we've got it clarified with the six of swords. Now the six of swords, this is spirit saying that this is someone that is like, um, something isn't working something isn't it's like there's uh, hold on a second i'm, I'm not 100 percent understanding just yet you guys but i'm gonna get it so just bear with me please can you clarify he's into magic um he's into magic with the six of swords spirit can you clarify he's into magic with the Six of Swords? 
too many cards. Staying in, divine help. Sing, can I get single jumping cards only, please, Spirit? Because I am, so I can better understand the message. Can you clarify he's into magic with the Six of Swords here? Single jumping cards only, please. I'll just take it. I miss you. <gasps> he's into magic. Okay, so magic also. Okay, so um, uh, pharmacy. The word pharmacy. Um, it actually result like it goes back. I forget how it goes. Right, but it goes back to um to like the like magic, you know, because like the the medication and things like that. It like I forget exactly like how exactly it goes back, but like the word pharmacy and everything like that, pharmaceutical goes back to like um an like I think it's ancient Greek or something like that. Um and and it actually you know does mean magic well we've got here on the bottom of the deck haven't been feeling well right well the nine of wands can represent someone that does have like you know like they're wounded right there and so like they you know um are taking something here to escape someone here someone here is missing you and is taking like um maybe like um uh um pills pharmaceutical things they're trying to um someone is trying to take some uh mind altering medication in order to escape their feelings for for you or it's like to escape their misery because they're they're wanting freedom they miss you they miss and it's almost like they're they want they're like in denial too about and i feel like there's someone here that from your past that misses you um there's someone from your past that misses you that may have blamed you for a lot of the issues but now this person realizes that both of you played a part in the breakdown of the connection okay um this person also too i'm i'm seeing a person though that you're dealing with someone who is very spiritual and um and you do have this you know telepathic communication with this person right he's very this person here is very spiritual and is missing you and just and just you may feel as though like you're you're distant or you've become distant with that six of swords or like feels you running away or you may feel like this person is running away from you or avoiding you. I also feel like there is a divine masculine or there's someone here that wants to use magic in order to improve the connection with you. I feel like there's more to that message, but if we get anything else from Spirit, I'll I'll make sure to mention it. But Spirit, can you tell me about this tel um, telepathy between us? 
the strength card flipping over. What is this telepathy between us, spirit? That was a, like a huge stretch right there, you guys. But I, I really, really feel like um, there's someone that is wounded. This person may be using like spell work. No, that's not it. Okay, what's this telepathy between us, spirit? What's this telepathy between us? Look, he's into magic. He's into magic. The magician. There is, there's a, there's a masculine here that is communicating knight of swords this would also be like the mind this is like um you know um mental and and um you know the throat chakra and the crown chakra third eye chakra you know this is speaking and thinking there's someone here that this is communication regardless the knight of swords this is communication there is someone here that communicates with you um through telepathy he's into magic he's using magic he's been wounded he's hurt he misses you He's been guarded though I feel like you're dealing with someone who's in denial about the um either you're in denial about the telepathic communication or this you're dealing with a person who's in denial about this telepathic communication and when you two like you may have left this person or have grown apart from this person or you're no longer with this person or there's something here regarding travel or like you live at a distance from this person or there's travel, this person may, some of you, this person may be like on a boat or out in the water or lives near water or, but this person here sends, whether they realize it or not, they send crows to you or other types of birds. And when you hear crows or um, like they're just like birds, not like an occasional like hearing a bird sound, but like when they're just kind of going on and on. You know how sometimes you go out there and they're just kind of going on and on and on? Um, so like that, when they're just kind of going on and on and on for several minutes. Um, and this is when this telepathic communication is happening between you and this person. And you'll know who it is because it'll be the first person that pops up in your mind. But this, but this person here has um, had. It's like they're they're either like in uh, already. Um, it's like they're into to magic and spirituality and their spiritual gifts, or this person has had um, just um, many lifetimes where they um, spent their life. Um, practicing magic and so their soul is just very advanced whether they are consciously aware of this telepathic communication or not for some of you this is a person that you you outgrew or you walked away from or you escaped because they are missing you and we have that six of swords there Interesting. Hold on just a moment, you guys, if you want to stick around. I want to get some messages from this person that you're in telepathic communication with. If you want to stick around and see what the telepathic communication is, please feel free um, to chill. If not, 
if this isn't your reading and you don't care about the messages, it won't hurt my feelings if you want to click off. I understand this is a very specific message here. Um, I wasn't expecting something so specific, but we got it. So, um, normally on, uh, on the weekend, I only post, uh, one reading for the whole weekend. Um, but I'm gonna be posting another reading this weekend since this one was so specific. So we'll try to get something more, um, collective tomorrow but this person's energy they're such a um either the these particular people's energy is so strong that it you know kind of hijacked the reading so let's see oh that went flying hold on just a second okay we have I remember how easy life is with you. You dealing, some of you, you're dealing with a person who now is is dealing with like a, a karmic situation and life is is very difficult for them. They they may get nagged a lot or treated um, un, unkindly or it's like they're just dealing with someone who is very mean and spiteful. Um, and they remember that with you, it wasn't anything like that. Um, so let's see, what else does this person want to say? Spirit. I feel lonely if you only knew. So this person, it, even when other people are around, this person feels lonely um if, if you are with this person and for whatever reason you're like separated because of living at a distance from one another or like um you know there's whatever the reason is if you're even though like you may be in a relationship but you're not together this person still feels lonely if you are not in a relationship with this person because of some sort of separation. This person is just lonely. Um, doesn't matter who is around them. Yet, look, I chose a bad apple. Look, the two of swords. This person here made a choice or a decision and, and chose someone that they're constantly fighting with. There's a lot of back and forth fighting. Um, also, too... You're dealing with someone who chose a bad apple in the past that has caused them to um, have difficulties in relationship. Look, lately you have been on my mind. I want to know you are okay. And literally that's exactly what I was talking about when this telepathy card first came out. So you guys are on one another's minds or this person here is thinking about you a great deal or you're thinking about another person a lot and you're wanting to know how that person is and if they're doing okay. Like, cause you can tell something isn't right or they can tell something isn't right. I think about being alone with you. I long to kiss you, so. Yeah, that's sweet. Too many cards. Show me more spirit. I know we belong together. Look, this person thought, for some of you, you're dealing with someone that wanted freedom, you know, but what is that? Um, like, if you... Um, if you love something, you set it free. If it comes back, it's meant to be. Yeah. I'm going to take this one because it's the one that flew out first. I was around toxic people. I didn't know what I was doing. So, yeah, you dealing with a person that absorbed a lot of toxic energy. This person, for some of you, you're dealing with someone that may have cheated on you. 
um, for others of you, you're dealing with a person that is still around toxic people. Um, someone had to make their bed and someone uh, made their bed and now they have to lie in it. For whoever this is for, you don't know it yet, but I'm planning to surprise you. So I can't stand the thought of you moving on with someone else. So, um, you know, for some of you, like you may not even want this person back. Others of you, you may. So like if this bar, if this is your message and this person comes to surprise you, you'll have to decide, you know, if you're wanting this surprise communication from this person or if you're wanting like this surprise gift. Um, but I do feel like for, for many of you watching, it's like some parts resonate while some parts are not going to resonate. And that's because the parts that resonate with you don't resonate for someone else. And the parts that don't resonate for you are parts that resonate with the other people that the parts didn't resonate with. Does that make sense? And so like that's how spirit is showing me like parts of it are going to resonate with some people and the parts that don't resonate with you are going to resonate with someone else. So um, that's one of the reasons why this particular reading was really confusing for me. So, um, but anyways, I'm going to do another collective reading, um, for you guys. And I truly appreciate you sticking around for those of you who did. And, um, and anyways, if, um, if any of this reading resonated with you, um, please feel free to leave me a like, cause it'll be a great way to, you know, um, kind of share in some equal energy exchange with me and then hopefully be able to um, get this message to those that that really do need to hear the message. So this is what I have for you guys for now and I will be back later with another collective channeled message. We may do a pick a card. I don't know just yet because I want something that's going to be more, you know, um, that will resonate more specifically for you for each of you so anyways this is what i have for now and the divine in me bows to the divine in you namaste oh also if you're still listening and you do want your own personal private reading um of course you can always try to win the um the free reading that i give away every month but also you can always hit me up send me an email and book your own personal private reading anytime you wish or you can just email me to get booking information. Totally whatevs. <laughs> All right, I love you so much. And again, the divine in me bows to the divine in you. Namaste.